Hello, so let's talk about online courses and programs, the group programs, whatever we want to call them. We've all been in them. We want to be in more, like, as a coach or an online business owner, they're, like, so important for us to be a part of as we build our businesses. Um, having a coach is important. Being a part of programs is important because it builds up our expertise. So the more we learn, the more we can charge for our services and our coaching. But there's a one big thing that's missing from a lot of programs, and that's the course creator or the coach. I've had a lot of students join Standout Coaching Academy feeling really relieved and shocked by the amount of support that they get inside the program because they've been a part of programs that they purchased for even more than what they invested in Standout Coaching Academy or less. They purchase the program thinking they're going to be able to work with this course creator and they're just not a part of the program. It's like they just get this thing, they get the Facebook group and then like their team is running it and the course creator that they really wanted to have a connection with isn't a part of it anymore. The program grew too big and they kind of lost touch with all of their students, which can happen. But it's a, it's a big disappointment when a course creator an influencer is trying to sell a program and you buy it and you get in and you feel like you're just in a sea of other people just like you and all you want is some connection all you want is some one-on-one -on -one guidance you want a response that doesn't take two days to come in on a Facebook post I've been there and it's it sucks it sucks when you are working on something for your for your website or you're, you're working on a sales page and you're working on whatever it might be you're sitting behind your computer and you're like oh I can just go and ask my coach and then all of a sudden um a day has passed and you haven't heard from them and you're wondering like where's the support this you know I've made this investment and now I can't even hear from anybody I gotta wait two days I'm not a part of anything like that right now but I've been a part of programs that are like that and that's frustrating especially when you took a gigantic leap to work with somebody and then they're just like, all right, see ya. <laughs> that's not, that's not right. But I see it a lot. And a lot of people are saying that they're joining these programs and they're reaching out for guidance and they're just getting like team members. And that's not why they signed up for it. They signed up to work with the, that actual creator. So I want, to, I want to change that. I help um, my SOGA students create their group programs and they follow by example. I am very present in my Facebook group. I'm very present with my clients. I'm very present with my students. Of course, my family comes first, um, but I don't make people wait two days for a response. And if I ever have, I apologize. That is not my intention. But I know that my SOGA students will <laughs> would speak up and say that I am very quick to respond. I do what I can. I always do my best because I know how it feels. And that goes to um, the perspective. I could sit here and complain about, you know, disappointments when joining programs or whatever it might be and just kind of hold this grudge against whatever. I could certainly do that. But that wouldn't serve me in a higher, at a higher level. But what would serve me is me taking a lesson and using it to make myself better. So the 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 disappointments that I've had as a student or a client, I have used to do the opposite. I've learned that that's not how I want to be treated as a student. I've learned that that's not how I want to be treated as a client. And I do, I make it better. I make my clients experiences with me feeling, so they feel very supported and loved. And like, they feel like they're my friend. They don't feel like they have to wait two weeks or a week to get on a call to ask questions with me. My clients are voxering me all of the time. I have Instagram DMs for my clients all of the time. That's how we communicate through voice, through the, a strong connection. I can't go and see them or, you know, when they need me, obviously. So we use, you know, voice messaging. I have, I listen to minutes of them every single morning, every single night before I go to bed and I respond to them. My students, I am very present with them in the group they message me for help. I'm all about helping them. I'm all about um, 
letting, making people feel supported, inspired to move forward. Cause we're never going to move forward in our business. If we don't, if we're nervous, especially when you're just starting, when you're just a baby in this space, it's scary because you think that you're just like everybody else. And who's, who's going to notice you? Who's what, what can you do? That's going to make you, you stand out. Right. I remember that feeling. I remember thinking, what is so special about me? I literally work from home. I live in a super small town in North Dakota. Why would anybody want to listen to me? And then I got over that and I started learning from the greats. And some of the greats, I learned things that I didn't want to do. And that's okay. That's what they're there for. They're here. Everyone's here to teach us a lesson, even if it's a lesson we don't really care for. But in the end, when you are going through something, whether you are a student or a client, and you're like, I don't really like that about that. I'm going to change that. That's how you can make your program stand out. That's how you can make your one-on-ones stand out um, by being present with them. Um, everything is so like, we got to automate everything. We got to make everything work for us. That's, that's important to a point, um, but we can't lose complete touch with everything in our business. We still like have to have a hand in it. We need to know what's going on. We can automate up to, you know, step five and then the rest. We need to see what's going on. We need to be in the groups with our students. We need to know their name and what their, what their, their websites are, what their coaching businesses are. We need to know like what their goals are. We need to know where they're from and like personal things about them. We need to develop relationships with people because people are craving connection. People are craving relationships, especially now online when everything is so like, me, I'm just on your screen, right? I can't, I can't like hold your hand. I can't give you a hug. I can't do anything like that, but I'm trying to build a connection with you by just talking with you. People are craving that. We can't develop that as much on a post or selling a program. We have to do more. We have to step out further. And if it's uncomfortable for you as a course creator to step out there and be with your students because you're afraid, then you need to have more confidence in yourself. You need to, you created something amazing. You're here to do something amazing. Don't be afraid to get in there and roll up your sleeves and be with your students. Don't be afraid to go there with your clients. Don't be afraid to do any of that. They reached out to you for a reason. It's important to be there for them. So that's just something that came to my mind. I wanted to share that with you. Um, If you have any experiences that you didn't really like, remember to use them as lessons and then make your business stand out in doing the complete opposite. And you will be this coach that everyone wants to be with because they feel so highly supported and um, you're going to, you're just going to feel like you're operating at a higher level, which is what we all want. So if you want to comment or DM me of any, any experiences that you've learned or um, learned your, learn the hard way, or maybe you want to just share something, I'd be happy to have a discussion with you. And um, lessons are always good no matter what. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching.